Psalm 107. Oh, thank God. He's so good. His love never runs out. All of you set free by God, tell the world. Tell how he freed you from oppression, then rounded you up from all over the place, from the four winds, from the seven seas. Some of you wandered for years in the desert, looking but not finding a good place to live. Half starved and parched with thirst, staggering and stumbling on the brink of exhaustion. Then, in your desperate condition, you called out to God. He got you out in the nick of time. He put your feet on a wonderful road that took you straight to a good place to live. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. He poured great drafts of water down parched throats. The starved and hungry got plenty to eat. Some of you were locked in a dark cell, cruelly confined behind bars, punished for defying God's word, for turning your back on the high God's counsel. A hard sentence your heart so heavy and not a soul in sight to help. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition. He got you out in the nick of time. He led you out of your dark, dark cell, broke open the jail and led you out. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. He shattered the heavy jailhouse doors. He snapped the prison bars like matchsticks. Some of you were sick because you'd lived a bad life. Your body's feeling the effects of your sin. You couldn't stand the sight of food. So miserable you thought you'd be better off dead. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition. He got you out in the nick of time. He spoke the word that healed you, that pulled you back from the brink of death. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. Offer thanksgiving sacrifices. Tell the world what he's done. Sing it out. Some of you set sail in big ships. You put to sea to do business in faraway ports. Out at sea, you saw God in action, saw his breathtaking ways with the ocean. With a word, he called up the wind, an ocean storm, towering waves. You shot high in the sky, then the bottom dropped out. Your hearts were stuck in your throats. You were spun like a top, you reeled like a drunk. You didn't know which end was up. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition. He got you out in the nick of time. He quieted the wind down to a whisper, put a muzzle on all the big waves. And you were so glad when the storm died down, and he led you safely back to harbor. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. Lift high your praises when the people assemble. Shout hallelujah when the elders meet. God turned rivers into wasteland, springs of water into sun-baked mud. Luscious orchards became alkali flats because of the evil of the people who lived there. Then he changed wasteland into fresh pools of water, arid earth into springs of water, brought in the hungry and settled them there. They moved in. What a great place to live. They sowed the fields. They planted vineyards. They reaped a bountiful harvest. He blessed them and they prospered greatly. Their herds of cattle never decreased, but abuse and evil and trouble declined as he heaped scorn on princes and sent them away. He gave the poor a safe place to live, treated their clans like well-cared-for sheep. Good people see this and are glad. Bad people are speechless, stopped in their tracks. If you are really wise, you'll think this over. It's time you appreciated God's deep love. Psalm 108, a David prayer. I'm ready, God, so ready. Ready from head to toe. Ready to sing, ready to raise a God song. Wake, soul, wake, lute, wake up, you sleepyhead son. I'm thanking you, God, out in the streets, singing your praises in town and country. The deeper your love, the higher it goes. Every cloud's a flag to your faithfulness. Soar high in the skies, O God. Cover the whole earth with your glory. And for the sake of the one you love so much, reach down and help me. Answer me. That's when God spoke in holy splendor. Brimming over with joy, I make a present of Shechem. I hand out Succoth Valley as a gift. Gilead's in my pocket, to say nothing of Manasseh. Ephraim's my hard hat, Judah my hammer. Moab's a scrub bucket. I mop the floor with Moab. Spit on Edom, rain fireworks all over Philistia. 
Who will take me to the thick of the fight? Who will show me the road to Edom? You aren't giving up on us, are you, God? Refusing to go out with our troops? Give us help for the hard task. Human help is worthless. And God will do our very best. He'll flatten the opposition for good. Psalm 109, a David prayer. My God, don't turn a deaf ear to my hallelujah prayer. Liars are pouring out invective on me. Their lying tongues are like a pack of dogs out to get me, barking their hate, nipping my heels, and for no reason. I love them, and now they slander me, yes, me, and treat my prayer like a crime. They return my good with evil. They return my love with hate. Send the evil one to accuse my accusing judge. Dispatch Satan to prosecute him. When he's judged, let the verdict be guilty. And when he prays, let his prayer turn to sin. Give him a short life and give his job to somebody else. Make orphans of his children. Dress his wife in widow's weeds. Turn his children into begging street urchins, evicted from their homes, homeless. May the bank foreclose and wipe him out. And strangers like vultures pick him clean. May there be no one around to help him out, no one willing to give his orphans a break. Chop down his family tree so that nobody even remembers his name. But erect a memorial to the sin of his father and make sure his mother's name is there too. Their sins recorded forever before God, but they themselves sunk in oblivion. That's all he deserves since he was never once kind, hounded the afflicted and heartbroken to their graves. Since he loved cursing so much, let curses rain down. Since he had no taste for blessing, let blessings flee far from him. He dressed up in curses like a fine suit of clothes. He drank curses, took his baths in curses. So give him a gift, a costume of curses. He can wear curses every day of the week. That's what they'll get, those out to get me, an avalanche of just desserts from God. Oh, God, my Lord, step in. Work a miracle for me. You can do it. Get me out of here. Your love is so great. I'm at the end of my rope, my life in ruins. I'm fading away to nothing, passing away, my youth gone, old before my time. I'm weak from hunger and can hardly stand up. My body, a rack of skin and bones. I'm a joke in poor taste to those who see me. They take one look and shake their heads. Help me. Oh, help me. God, my God, save me through your wonderful love. Then they'll know that your hand is in this, that you, God, have been at work. Let them curse all they want. You do the blessing. Let them be jeered by the crowd when they stand up, followed by cheers for me, your servant. Dress my accusers in clothes dirty with shame, discarded in humiliating old ragbag clothes. My mouth's full of great praise for God. I'm singing his hallelujahs surrounded by crowds, for he's always at hand to take the side of the needy, to rescue a life from the unjust judge. Psalm 110, a David prayer. The word of God to my Lord. Sit alongside me here on my throne until I make your enemies a stool for your feet. You were forged a strong scepter by God of Zion. Now rule those surrounded by enemies. Your people will freely join you, resplendent in holy armor on the great day of your conquest. Join you at the fresh break of day. Join you with all the vigor of youth. God gave his word and he won't take it back. You're the permanent priest, the Melchizedek priest. The Lord stands true at your side, crushing kings in his terrible wrath, bringing judgment on the nations, handing out convictions wholesale, crushing opposition across the wide earth. The king maker put his king on the throne. The true king rules with head held high. Psalm 111 Hallelujah! I give thanks to God with everything I've got. Wherever good people gather and in the congregation, God's works are so great, worth a lifetime of study, endless enjoyment. Splendor and beauty mark his craft. His generosity never gives out. His miracles are his memorial, this God of grace, this God of love. He gave food to those who fear him. He remembered to keep his ancient promise. He proved to his people that he could do what he said. Hand them the nations on a platter, a gift. 
He manufactures truth and justice. All his products are guaranteed to last, never out of date, never obsolete, rust-proof. All that he makes and does is honest and true. He paid the ransom for his people. He ordered his covenant kept forever. He's so personal and holy, worthy of our respect. The good life begins in the fear of God. Do that, and you'll know the blessing of God. His hallelujah lasts forever. Psalm 112 Hallelujah! Blessed man, blessed woman who fear God, who cherish and relish His commandments. There are children robust on the earth, and the homes of the upright. How blessed! Their houses brim with wealth, and a generosity that never runs dry. Sunrise breaks through the darkness for good people. God's grace and mercy and justice. The good person is generous and lends lavishly. No shuffling or stumbling around for this one, but a sterling and solid and lasting reputation, unfazed by rumor and gossip. Heart ready, trusting in God, spirit firm, unperturbed, ever blessed, relaxed among enemies. They lavish gifts on the poor, a generosity that goes on and on and on. An honored life, a beautiful life. Someone wicked takes one look and rages, blusters away, but ends up speechless. There's nothing to the dreams of the wicked. Nothing. Psalm 113. Hallelujah. You who serve God, praise God. Just to speak His name is praise. Just to remember God is a blessing now and tomorrow and always. From east to west, from dawn to dusk, keep lifting all your praises to God. God is higher than anything and anyone, outshining everything you can see in the skies. Who can compare with God, our God, so majestically enthroned, surveying His magnificent heavens and earth? He picks up the poor from out of the dirt, rescues the wretched who've been thrown out with the trash, seats them among the honored guests, a place of honor among the brightest and best. He gives childless couples a family, gives them joy as the parents of children. Hallelujah. Psalm 114. After Israel left Egypt, the clan of Jacob left those barbarians behind. Judah became holy land for him. Israel, the place of holy rule. Sea took one look and ran the other way. River Jordan turned around and ran off. The mountains turned playful and skipped like rams. The hills frolicked like spring lambs. What's wrong with you, sea, that you ran away? And you, River Jordan, that you turned and ran off? And mountains, why did you skip like rams? And you, hills, frolicked like spring lambs. Tremble, earth! You're in the Lord's presence, in the presence of Jacob's God. He turned the rock into a pool of cool water. Turned flint into fresh spring water. Psalm 115. Not for our sake, God. No, not for our sake, but for Your name's sake. Show Your glory. Do it on account of Your merciful love. Do it on account of Your faithful ways. Do it so none of the nations can say, "Where now? Oh, where is their God?" Our God is in heaven, doing whatever He wants to do. Their gods are metal and wood, handmade in a basement shop, carved mouths that can't talk, painted eyes that can't see, tin ears that can't hear, molded noses that can't smell, hands that can't grasp, feet that can't walk or run, throats that never utter a sound. Those who make them have become just like them, have become just like the gods they trust. But you, Israel. Put your trust in God. Trust your helper. Trust your ruler. Clan of Aaron, trust in God. Trust your helper. Trust your ruler. You who fear God, trust in God. Trust your helper. Trust your ruler. Oh God, remember us and bless us. Bless the families of Israel and Aaron, and let God bless all who fear God. Bless the small. Bless the great. Oh, let God enlarge your families, giving growth to you, growth to your children. May you be blessed by God, by God who made heaven and earth. The heaven of heavens is for God, 
but he puts us in charge of the earth. Dead people can't praise God, not a word to be heard from those buried in the ground. But we bless God. Oh yes, we bless him now. We bless him always. Hallelujah. Psalm 116. I love God because he listened to me, listened as I begged for mercy. He listened so intently as I laid out my case before him. Death stared me in the face. Hell was hard on my heels. Up against it, I didn't know which way to turn. Then I called out to God for help. Please, God, I cried out, save my life. God is gracious. It is he who makes things right, our most compassionate God. God takes the side of the helpless. When I was at the end of my rope, he saved me. I said to myself, relax and rest. God has showered you with blessings. Soul, you've been rescued from death. I, you've been rescued from tears. And you, foot, were kept from stumbling. I'm striding in the presence of God, alive in the land of the living. I stayed faithful, though bedeviled, and despite a ton of bad luck, despite giving up on the human race, saying, they're all liars and cheats. What can I give back to God for the blessings he's poured out on me? I'll lift high the cup of salvation, a toast to God. I'll pray in the name of God. I'll complete what I promised God I'd do, and I'll do it together with his people. When they arrive at the gates of death, God welcomes those who love him. Oh, God, here I am, your servant, your faithful servant. Set me free for your service. I'm ready to offer the thanksgiving sacrifice and pray in the name of God. I'll complete what I promised God I'd do, and I'll do it in company with his people. In the place of worship, in God's house, in Jerusalem, God's city. Hallelujah. Psalm 117 Praise God, everybody. Applaud God, all people. His love has taken over our lives. God's faithful ways are eternal. Hallelujah. Psalm 118 Thank God because he's good, because his love never quits. Tell the world, Israel, his love never quits. And you, clan of Aaron, tell the world, his love never quits. And you who fear God, join in. His love never quits. Push to the wall, I called to God. From the wide open spaces, he answered. God's now at my side, and I'm not afraid. Who would dare lay a hand on me? God's my strong champion. I flick off my enemies like flies. Far better to take refuge in God than trust in people. Far better to take refuge in God than trust in celebrities. Hemmed in by barbarians, in God's name I rubbed their faces in the dirt. Hemmed in and with no way out, in God's name I rubbed their faces in the dirt. Like swarming bees, like wild prairie fire, they hemmed me in. In God's name I rubbed their faces in the dirt. I was right on the cliff edge, ready to fall, when God grabbed and held me. God's my strength, he's also my song, and now he's my salvation. Hear the shouts, hear the triumph songs in the camp of the saved? The hand of God has turned the tide. The hand of God is raised in victory. The hand of God has turned the tide. I didn't die. I lived. And now I'm telling the world what God did. God tested me. He pushed me hard. But he didn't hand me over to death. Swing wide the city gates, the righteous gates. I'll walk right through and thank God. This temple gate belongs to God. So the victors can enter and praise. Thank you for responding to me. You've truly become my salvation. The stone the Masons discarded as flawed is now the capstone. This is God's work. We rub our eyes. We can hardly believe it. This is the very day God acted. Let's celebrate and be festive. Salvation now, God. Salvation now. Oh yes, God, a free and full life. Blessed are you who enter in God's name. From God's house we bless you. God is God. He has bathed us in light. Festoon the shrine with garlands. Hang colored banners above the altar. You're my God and I thank you. Oh my God, I lift high your praise. Thank God, he's so good. His love never quits. Psalm 